Hi, I'm Gareth and this short video is going to be all about how well the CleverTouch Impact and Impact Plus screens integrate with Google software. I'm mainly talking about the Google Drive, the cloud drive that allows teachers to create content at home and then open it up directly on the screen without their laptop even plugged in. So there's a couple of main ways that you can do that, either via our Cloud Drive app or via our Chrome browser. So I'm going to start off showing you how well you can log in with the Cloud Drive app. So I'm coming over here to our main menu and I'm going to go to the app section and click on our Cloud Drive app. So in here I can add my account, I can sign into Google Drive or OneDrive. So this video is all about Google Drive. So this now takes me out to a browser so that I can log in. So I'm just going to start to put in the details of the account I want to log into. Okay. Now, excuse me while I just uh, secretly tap in my password. And this will log me in. So Google, the Cloud Drive wants to access my Google account, which I will allow it to do. And there it is. I'm now signed in. Later on, if I want to sign out of that account, I can just click and hold this and a little bin will come up and I can log out that way. But for now, I'm good to go. So if I come out of this um, browser and come home, if I want to access any files that I've got in my drive and open them directly in the board, then I can go to the file section. So again, I'm on the main menu. I go to the files here and you can see that my account has already come up here in this cloud drive setting. Normally we might be on the storage of the board, but here, cloud drive, and there's any accounts that we've already got open via the cloud drive app. So now if I click on uh, my drive, you can see all of my folders within the drive. Now, some files will come up as unknown because they will probably be Google Docs or Sheets, things that you need to open within the browser, which is the second way of accessing your drive directly on the Clever Touch boards. But I have got lots of files uh, ready in my um, drive that I can open directly. So for example, PowerPoints I can open directly in, in the board. And here you can see there's PDFs and Word documents, pictures that I could open up straight away here on the board directly. So if I show you an example of that, by opening up a PowerPoint, Okay, so this is using an app that we have uh, stored locally on the uh, Impact and Impact Plus boards called WPS Office, and here it is. Now I've got the ability to uh, play the PowerPoint just as you would normally. So this would be a PowerPoint you've planned it at home, saved it to your cloud drive, and here it is on the screen ready to use in class and go through all the pages or use any hyperlinks that you might have uh, put into the presentation too. You've also got the option to annotate directly onto um, the document and actually save these annotations on the screen itself if you needed to. And those will be annotations that will be permanently on to your document if that's what you want. However, being a clever touch board, there's always more than one way to do anything. And in here, we have our own annotation tools where you can write on top of whatever's on the screen at any time um, with some annotations that are temporary at that point. Although you can save them either to the board itself or to your cloud drive, again, as an image of that page that you've annotated on. So I'm just going to come home now and I'm going to show you the second way that you can access some of your documents. So if it is um, a Microsoft Office document like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, open those directly in the board from the file section. However, if you want to open up some Google Docs or Sheets or Slides, that you've created, particularly if you're using um, a Chromebook, then to do that, I've come to the apps area and we've got the Chrome browser here. So I'm going to search so that I can sign in uh, to my account. If 
Right, so just as I did before when I was signing in using our Cloud Drive app, I can now sign into my account here. And again, bear with me when I just type in my password. Okay, and I'm in. So now over here, you can see that I can access lots of the apps as you would normally on your browser at home. So one of them here is the Drive. So you can see here all of my various uh, files and folders just as I'd logged in before. So for example, if I go to the same folder here, you'll see all the same files that I was able to open up directly in the board and some of those that I, that I wasn't able to open up before, such as this Google Docs here. Okay, so if I just open up um, an example, so this is a Google Docs. Now, when it first comes onto the screen, it might not look exactly in the way that you'd created it on your laptop. And that's because you need to tell the board to change. So from the three dot menu here, I need to click on desktop site and it readapts the way that the um, file is shown with some of the editing tools on there. So this will now come up exactly as you expected it to when you wanted to display it. And it's just the same for uh, Google Sheets and Google Slides as well. So you can open them up now directly on the board. Now, editing wise, the touch screen capability makes it um, a little bit tricky to make changes on there. It is possible, but generally teachers will have prepared these at home or maybe save them to a shared drive that they have with colleagues. And it's there for presentation purposes. So you can see for presenting to a class just how smooth that is. So that works really, really well. Now, if you do want to edit the document while it's on screen, then it is possible, but um, touch screen capability wise, it is quite difficult on such a large screen with uh, Google Docs and the other G Suite applications. However, I can show you in a moment with my laptop how wirelessly you can make as many uh, edits to the document as you like uh, live um, and have them appear on the screen and we'll show you that next. So as I mentioned, great for displaying your Google Docs and Sheets and slides directly on the board. Editing's a little bit more tricky. The way that I do it really smoothly is that I just wirelessly um, join the Cloud Drive from my device at the same time. And what's great is more than one device can do this. So if it's a, um, a Google Drive that has several users, you can all open up the exact same doc and make live changes on your uh, device and see them happen on the screen. Let me demonstrate that for you now. So if I um, select the word wonderful for my blog, which of course it was, but I'm gonna change it now for the word fantastic. And as I'm making my changes here, you'll see that they're happening uh, behind me on the screen at exactly the same time. So in that way, a teacher can be at the back of the room displaying something from their Google Drive and making changes uh, to it on their device without the need of lots of uh, very long wires. <laughs>